Hey YouTube family, welcome to Jackie with the Q. How everybody doing today? Hope all is well, and I hope you making it happen for yourself. Make it happen for yourself. So hey everybody, uh, like I said, uh, welcome to Jackie with the Q, where the Q stands for queen, the Q stands for question, and the Q stands for quality of life. Now before I get started, I'm going to remember my subscribers, but I just want to say to all of my subscribers, you all are a part of the Jack Squad, okay? You all are part of my um, first thousand subscribers. I'm working on the second thousand. Um, I appreciate you all. Um, I enjoy speaking with you. Um, you know, interacting with you, I should say, right? Um, I try to comment on everybody's that's comments to me. You know, I know maybe at some point it might get to be too much, but right now I enjoy it. I, it tickles me, right? I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. So anyway, y'all, uh, welcome to the Jack Squad. You all are a part of the Jack Squad. Um, and again, I just appreciate you for watching and um, being a part of this journey with me, right? So today, y'all, uh, before we get started, uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, and share, 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 because um, I'm trying to uh, accomplish something by my birthday, right? So anyway, because you know, now I told y'all I'm going to um, go live Saturday. Now, I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know nothing about it. I have the capabilities to do that now. I am going to do it. Don't know how it's going to be, what to do. So I don't know how to pull the people in. I don't know anything, y'all. So Saturday might be a bust, but we're going to go trial and error so that I can do it for my birthday, okay? Because I don't know, like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do it, right? So anyway, um, I just want you to be able to talk to you guys in, in real time, okay? Um, anyway, let me get to my subscribers because I, I promise I got it right here on the top of my sheet. I was not going to forget. So my first uh, subscriber for today is Michelle Holly. And then I have uh, Kimmy Riles. And I hope I'm pronouncing you guys' name right because that's a pet peeve when not pronouncing names right, right? And then I have IDJ with Ebony T. All right. So again, that's Michelle Holly, uh, Kimmy Riles, and IDJ with Ebony T. Okay. So I wasn't going to really, uh, I, you know, I've been planning on talking about um, the, uh, oh, I can't even get the sauce right. Uh, you know, at the, uh, what are they doing with Trump? The impeachment trial, right? I have been uh, watching that. I didn't watch it today. But I've been planning on talking about that, right? But um, the Gorilla Glue girl got my life right now, right? So we got an update. We got an update. Praise God. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good, right? So, you know, um, and I appreciate Let me say this, too. I appreciate my subscribers for sending me little nuggets and tidbits and stuff, right? So one of my subscribers has said, oh, uh, uh, TMZ has, she's getting to take it out now, right? But watch it. So I did. And surprisingly, let me just say this. Surprisingly, they were very gentle with her. They, the bedside manner was wonderful, right? They were so gentle with her, right? And, um, and, and she wasn't asleep. I guess they gave her general anesthesia, right, to numb it. Because I heard them say, if you feel anything, let us know. We'll give you some more. She was woke, right? Listen. You know, and I've, I've heard a lot of commentary on a lot of people talking. Now, we humans, right? Of course we wanted her to get that out of her hair. We didn't want her to be hurt. We didn't want any, at least I didn't. I didn't want any harm or danger. But y'all got to admit, that shit was funny as hell. Now, it was, it was funny now. And so, um, you know, uh, I, I also, one of my subscribers sent me a video she had done before. She went to uh, see the doctor, right? And bless her heart. I'm still saying the elevator don't go to the top. Ain't all the egg, all the eggs ain't in the basket, right? But she just didn't know no better. That's that's the only way I can put it. She didn't know any better, right? She wasn't thinking. She wasn't thinking, right? And um, she said she wished, you know, whoever interviewed her said, I, I wish do you wish that you had to put on social media? She said, no, she wished she had to did that. But I understand out of desperation. Because we live in a in a in a world now where you can get answers. Right through your phone, right? And for anything, right? 
And uh, it was out of desperation. I get that. I understand. But you know, and especially if you're surrounded by a bunch of folks just like you don't know nothing, right? Um, you know, to me, the thing would have been to do, I, I wondered did she reach out to Gorilla Glue itself? Because I know they got chemists. They don't want to make it, right? And seemed like they could have told you what to do to get it out your head. But I'm thinking now because it was all these rumors about she's suing. Now, she said she don't know where they came from. She never said she was suing them. She said she's not suing them. She never said she was, right? Don't know where that came from. But I'm guessing that if she had a reached out to them, because that's what I would have did. I'd call right there. Hello? You know, I would have reached out to them like this did. Y'all done put this in my hair. But I guess, you know, if you dumb enough to put it in your hair, you ain't smart enough to call the people who invented it. I don't know. But anyway, y'all, uh, so the doctors, they were so gentle with her, right? And so they had a solution to dissolve the polyurethane, which is one of the components of Gorilla Glue. Okay? And, you know, so she cut her ponytail off before she got to them. They might have could have saved the ponytail portion, right? Because they were putting this on and it was rubbing it going through. They was doing a shit. They was doing a wonderful job. They were so patient and they were not, um, you know, they wasn't at, they were doing it out. You could tell they were doing it out of love. Really. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh, we done got to get this shit out of her dumb head. Right? They, it wasn't like that. It, it, wasn't, it really wasn't. Right? And it didn't take long because the video was four minutes. When it started, I don't know, but they had, you know, I don't know how long it had been, but when I saw it, and then they finished it, they showed her walking, and they showed her when they put the, you know, put her and started doing it and stuff. Now, let me tell you this. I got some stuff I need to say. So they did do it in the doctor's office, and they talked to her, and she didn't lose much hair, right? Now, let me tell you where, I, where she threw me at, right? Like I said, I saw a video of her talking. Somebody, a blogger was interviewing her. And she said she'll talk to anybody. If I had the capabilities, if I really knew what I was doing, I would reach out to her. She was like, if you want to know anything, ask me. Because she says a lot of rumors going on about it. You know, all I want to know is, what was your thought process? Like, you, you didn't read the Bible? Like, because, like I told y'all before, Gorilla Glue ain't nowhere in the hair store. Nowhere. Unless they fixing something in the back, in the kitchen. Right? In the basement. But, um, you know... I would like to talk to her. Now, she feels, and I know that she feels shame, and she feels stupid. Um, but let me tell you what I didn't see. After they, now let me, if it was me, this is my reaction. After they got this stuff off my head, because she, in the interview, she said, which I already knew, that it was tingling and burning. It was just, just imagine, that's like torture. It was driving her crazy. And see, her and her mom had been putting oils and different stuff on it, and then... When, they, when she went to the hospital, they put that acetone and all that stuff on it. It was burning. She said it was burning. That's why she wanted to leave. And they told her it might take 20 hours, right? And that's why she wanted to leave. Because she said, well, I'm going to go home with my, let my mom and my sister and them do it. Somebody that love you do that to you, right? Plus, she had three small. She said she had three small girls, right? Now, she got a grown boy, but she had three small girls. The grown boy had a car. Reason why she couldn't go and get... Some more spray. I guess she went around in, the, around in the basement. I don't know where she got that stuff from. But anyway, um, uh, she was talking. And I just by listening to her speak, you know, just by listening to her speak, I know she didn't, she didn't pay, she wasn't thinking. She wasn't thinking, right? And, um, yeah, she wasn't thinking, right? And so, um, but let me tell you what I didn't like, like I said before. So if it was me, as soon as they finished, I'd have been, I'd have been so happy jumping up and down. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, right? I gave everybody in the room a hug. I would have been so grateful. So grateful. Because, you know, I'm th like I said, I thought maybe she was going to have to have that in her head forever. Right? I would have been so grateful. Now, you know, left. she's from Louisiana. And, I, you know, when I heard her speak, I heard the... I heard the New York, but it was country. I couldn't get it. I was like, where is she from? Right? Because I could hear the New York, and I could hear the Southern drawl. Right? Well, come to find out she's a Jamaican that lives in Louisiana. Makes perfect sense, because I heard it in her voice. Right? Um, but she was not... <clears throat> it didn't appear. Now, my daughter told me something. She said she know people like that. They just don't know no better. It did not appear that she was grateful. It just did not appear. And... 
Look like the first thing she did was got out went to the mayor and started doing baby hair. Why is baby hair your concern? That's this this what got you in the mess in the first place, right? I didn't see gratefulness. And it was somebody with her. At first I thought, well, maybe it's a dude, but he looked a little youngish. So maybe it was a son, right? And he, he looked about slow as her, right? But, um, you know, I just didn't see any gratefulness. You know, because for me, you know, I'm a crybaby anyway. As tough as I talk, as tough as I am, I would have probably start crying and, and hugging everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you some more, right? I ain't see that. So, you know, I was telling my daughter about it. She was like, Ma, I know people like that. She grateful. She just don't. She's too dumb to know and she don't know no better. Don't know no better. Because clearly, if you watch the video, you can decipher. I can say a lot of more things, but I don't want to offend her. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to offend anybody. Because I could really go in and have a good key key about it. But after watching, I just realized she don't know no better. I don't believe that she was doing it for clout. If she did, that was a good come up. Because, you know, some people are saying, nah, I think she probably got close to 20000 Some people say they want their money back, this and that, this and that. But you gave it to her. You gave it from your heart, so that's where it's at, right? Because um, if there's any kind of way she can go buy some scents, she need to go get some. Go get a couple bags of it, right? But, um, you know, I don't. I just don't think she did it. Because, you know, when I was listening to her speak, it seemed like she was close to tears. I didn't see any tears, but it seemed like her tone, her voice, she was close to tears. Because she's been ridiculed. She said her inbox is always full. And she was like, I'll talk to anybody. Just ask me. Don't ask me what you want to know. Don't be saying stuff about her. Because I guess the fact that, you know, they said she had a lawyer. She's going to sue. She said she, don't have, uh, she doesn't have a lawyer. And she said, you know, there was a few people that reached out to her, like Chance the Rapper. And I think Beyonce, Styles, or something to give her a wig. And this is the part that threw me. This is the part that threw me. She said she didn't want nothing from nobody. But you got that 20000 though. You got that 18000 right? So, I don't know. You know, you know, it, it, you know. sometimes people ain't level-headed. They're just not level-headed, right? And, because, um, you know, the girl kept asking her, well, what, what are you going to do now? Because she got certified by, by Instagram, so she got the blue check. Uh, she got a head to go fund me. So, I'm, I'm guessing that somebody was leading her to do this, because I don't believe she got no sense to do that. She might. I, I just don't. I don't. I, I don't see that. You know what I mean? Somebody's in her ear or something. But they, you know. I. But my thing is, I just want to know why she didn't just call uh, Gorilla Glue. I'd have called Gorilla Glue. I swear to God, I'd have called Gorilla Glue. I'd have called Gorilla Glue. Before I went to the hospital, I'd have called Gorilla Glue. Uh, old Mr. Tommy that worked with Gorilla Glue. I, I'd have called, you know, that, I, you know, no. Nah. You know, because you know, you can call the nurse's line and they tell you stuff, or the doctor, whatever, right? Did she Google it? You know, because for that, the way they did it, and as simply as they did it, and he did it for free. He did it for free, right? That's great publicity. What she has done is gave great publicity to Gorilla Glue. I know Gorilla Glue work. Like I told you, I use it. I live by it. I don't, it's always in my house. Always, right? Um... She, uh, you know, Gorilla Glue got good uh, publicity, and so did Dr. Obey. You know, because the per Dr. Obey was talking to her, and he had something, looked like a cartering, cartering tool, right? I don't know what that was. And then the other doctor was sitting down, massaging her hair, and he was putting solution on it. You know, they were very gentle with this woman, right? So, shout out to Dr. Obey and his staff for doing that, doing that, right? Um, like I said, I didn't see enough gratefulness. You know, my daughter had me to understand that people don't know no better. They don't know no better. They're grateful. They just don't know how to express it. They don't know no better that they should be expressing it, right? But, you know, I would think that at 40, you, you could be dumb as a box of rocks, right? It's some stuff you learn along the way in life, period, right? So, um, I know she know better to do that. And she, you know, because the, the interviewer asked her, would you do that? She, would you do that again? Or something she asked her. She was like, no, you know. It's just, it was just such a bizarre incident, right? And what I found out was before we saw it on Instagram, I think that had been in her hair like a month, she said. I want to say. I don't want to misquote. But that had been in her hair way before we saw it. She had been dealing with that. And she said that's why I was shining and stuff, because her and her mom was putting tea tree oils and this kind of oil and that kind of oil. It was trying to loosen it, right? It was trying to loosen it. it was Nothing was working. You know what I'm saying? So... Thank God for Dr. Obey and his staff and his intelligence. 
for helping her sister out. You know, and she said, you know, her name is, uh, matter of fact, I said I'm say her name, Tessica Brown. She does not want to be called Gorilla Glue Girl. But let me tell you something about people in life. You will always be remembered as Gorilla Glue Girl. I just want you to know, Tessica Brown. We ain't going to forget about you in a little while, right? But them people where you live and everybody, they gonna, you going to always be Gorilla Glue Girl. Just get used to it, you know. She said her mother told her to stop reading the comments. She said she can't help but reading the comments and this and that and that. So it's hurting her feelings. It's, and I get that, right? But if when you go to... See, this is what I've always wondered about people. When you tell the world or tell your friends, like if you got a, you, you know, if you got a situation, you tell somebody, you can put it out there. You put it out there. So when it's out there, when it's out there, you got to deal with the repercussions of it being out there, right? You can't put it out there and then... And then, and then Tell the people how to think or what to say. That's just, they, just, they don't go like that, right? You know, everybody got opinions. You know what I mean? And um, like I said, I, I'm glad because it was quickly. They did it. It was so quick. They did it. Um, you know, um, you know, he's a, like I said, he's a surgeon. He's a board certified plastic surgeon. You know, they got all kinds of skills and tools and chemists and everything, right? And they got it together. They got it together. I just didn't want, I didn't see enough gratefulness, right? And like I said, she immediately went to the bed and started making baby hair. You girl, you just got, you almost was a cement head. You was supposed to, you was, you was supposed to thank God, put on a hat, and go on back to your hotel room. You was not, she was in the mirror, and she was mad because her hair was cutting. <sighs> anyway, it's out there somewhere. It, it, TMZ, it's TMZ. So just put TMZ Blue Girl. It's, it's out there, right? Uh, let me see what else I want to say about that. I think I said everything I want to say about that, y'all. I'm getting ready to watch. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all know I'm a TV head, right? So I'm getting ready to watch Growing Up Hip Hop. And then the show that I like, because this is another couple. I'm going to talk about them because it's the dynamic is off. And I'm going to tell the reason why I think the dynamic is off. And that is um, Black China show. I watched it when they were on. Matter of fact, I paid for it on Zeus. But now they're showing them saying. Which I don't know how they did that. They showing them same shows that they showed on Zeus. Now it's on Week TV, right? But I saw some of those shows on. Was it Zeus? Who was that other? It was some other network, but I paid to see, right? But anyway, um, I think it was Zeus. I'm not sure. Was it Zeus? I'm not sure. But anyway, um, you know, her and her mother can't get along, and she's the only child. Now, only children can be pains. Right now, my oldest son is not an only child, but he was raised as an only child until he got about seven, and he still carried that only child mentality. Right, and then I have friends that have one child that you know, them only children are different, they're different, right? And this is what I think the problem is. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about it one day next week. Her mother's still out here struggling and hustling, and you a millionaire. I would feel the way too, right. And I was the only child, you know, that your mama's only child, and so on and so forth. But the mother does not know how to speak to Black China. And what I think Black China wants is just to be respected. You can't expect somebody to take care of you and do all this, and you cussing them out, calling them, talking to them like somebody in the street. You just can't do that. But we'll talk about that another day, y'all. So again, y'all, Gorilla Girl Glue, a.k.a. Tessica Brown has been saved. Her head is okay. Uh, right now it is, right? They've got, the, they've got the Gorilla Glue out of her hair. Now we have to wait and see if her hair will grow, if it's going to fall out, whatever it's going to do, right? And then she can, you know, get her life back together, okay? So anyway, y'all, let me talk about my, subscri my subscribers one more time. That's Michelle Holly, Kimmy Riles, and IDJ uh, with Ebony T, Okay? Now, y'all, let me say something, because I know y'all notice that it feels like I'm tripping over my tongue. My mouth, my gum is still a little swollen, right? Still a little swollen, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's still a little swollen, right? But anyway, y'all, thanks for being, uh, watching Jackie the Q. Thanks for being a part of the Jack Squad. Y'all my first thousand, right? I uh, appreciate y'all. We working on the 2000 so I can do better and greater things, right? Because right now it's me. That's okay because I'm I'm used to making it happen for myself, okay? All right, y'all. Y'all stay safe. Uh, you know, keep it tight and be all right, okay? Bye-bye. Now, I don't know. Every time I